guys backyard scientist here today we're going to be doing some cool experiments in my parents backyard that's right we're kicking it old school and that means some molten aluminum so we've got these cool glass shapes here and what we're going to be doing is pouring molten aluminum on some and then heating some up in a kiln and dunking it in water really fast so heating them up really fast cooling them down really fast and we're going to see what happens i think it's going to look pretty cool also a portion of this video is sponsored by LastPass, and they're not paying me to stand around and look pretty so let's get started Yes, <laughs> second time. <laughs> so in the foundry, we're going to be melting some aluminum to pour on these cubes here. Now, I really like this glass sphere, so I want to do something special for it. Unfortunately, we're going to have to break it as well, but isn't that cool? Can you see me through it? Yep, you're upside down. Ah! Anyway, I'm going to be taking the glass sphere and putting it over here in the kiln. And we're going to very slowly increase the temperature of the glass sphere so it doesn't crack. And it's probably going to take all day, but when we take it out, it should be glowing red hot. And then we're going to put it in the fish tank full of water and see what happens. I think it'll be pretty cool. I just hope it doesn't break while it's heating up. And I also hope that it doesn't melt. For our first test, a giant glass cube. Let's see how it reacts to molten alumina. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. I'm wearing glasses because I'm worried. What if this cracks? Six, oh, wow. Go now. Oh man, I didn't think, I thought it would totally crack, but it hasn't cracked yet. Oh, I'm going to back up just in case. I thought it would crack, didn't you? It's making noise, it might still. Some... Oh look, it just cracked! I just saw it crack. It held up a lot better than I thought it would have. So now what I'm gonna do, drop this piece right into the whole crucible of molten aluminum. I bet it'll shatter a lot more spectacularly than this little bit right there. Here we go. I gotta go back, this is scary, I don't like this. All right, three, two, one. Whoa! Record that, record that. Until the very end. Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! That worked, holy cow. That exploded so hard it spilled all of our aluminum and broke our crucible. And some hit me in the pants. Luckily they seem to be flame retardants. Wow, okay, so um, should, we get, should we get the hose maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Sorry about selling, setting the yard on fire. All right, so we've still got a couple cubes left. So while we're waiting for the giant sphere to heat up, we're just gonna pour some aluminum on them and see what happens. Oh man, are they gonna break? I'm a simple man. I see shiny glass cubes and I pour molten aluminum on them. I mean, really, honestly, I just like the way that molten aluminum looks in slow motion. But uh, you guys have probably figured that out by now. That's pretty cool. Hey! Oh, look at all those patterns. Oh, you can see the square where it was yeah. standing. While the big glass ball was still heating up in the kiln, I decided to bust out the smaller one and, of course, pour some molten aluminum onto it. It looked super bright orange, and that's because a cloud started rolling in, and despite what the conspiracy theorists say, molten aluminum definitely does right. glow orange. And hold on guys, I'm getting a reading right now from this crystal ball. It's telling me that you will like this video and ring the bell. All right. Anyway, the molten aluminum was way overheat. I left it in the forge for way too long and that's why it's glowing that awesome orange color. It also seems way more fluid than normal. All right, so we're gonna give this like one more minute to heat up and fill up the fish tank. So we gotta get this ready because this thing is about to just melt onto the floor. So while this is going, let me take the time to tell you about LastPass. All right guys, so this part of the video is sponsored by LastPass. LastPass relieves the burden of having to remember passwords. Stop getting locked out of your account and have LastPass remember the usernames and passwords for you. With LastPass, you don't have to write, remember, or reset passwords. LastPass allows you to keep track of your passwords easily so you can stay sane. Put your passwords on autopilot with LastPass. LastPass autofills your credentials on mobile sites and apps for Android and iPhone. When you open an app or a site, LastPass will automatically fill in your username and password for you, making it fast and easy to log in. With LastPass, you have unlimited password storage, cross-platform syncing, so no matter which device you're on, it can remember your passwords across any device that you're on, and password sharing. You guys know what to do. Click the link down below to get started using LastPass, and thanks to LastPass for sponsoring that portion of the video. I guess now we are going to be dropping a giant ball of glass into this fish tank. Let's try it. All right, now it's time to get the ball. I hope it hasn't melted. Come check it out. All right. Oh, no! It melted! Maybe we can still get it. Oh, hey. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
Three, two, one. It's bubbling, but there's no bubbles going anywhere. That's crazy. Look at the heat coming off of it. That's so cool. The surface, it's like vibrating. Oh, that's cool. You're right. It's because that bubble, that bubble's just been going forever. So this thing's is still, it's got to be still so hot on the inside. Oh, oh. Ow, it is still so hot on the inside. Should I try to break it in half? Do it. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Opa. Well, now that we've got all this broken glass, I wonder what we can do with it. So I thought it would be cool if we fill the crucible with all this broken glass, half broken glass, half molten aluminum, stir it up and see what we can get out of it. The glass has definitely started to liquefy, so now let's add some more aluminum to it, and some more glass until it's totally full and see if we can make some kind of crazy concoction out of it. Okay. I think everything in here is completely melted, so now let's take a look inside. Oh wow, that's hot. Looks like the top of a very oh, dark wow. pizza. Oh wow, yeah it does, let me take it out. So let's take a look at this stuff and see what it's like. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Should we get some out and see what happens when it dries or when it cools? Wow. Look at this. It's like a slug of molten metal and glass. That's cool. You should name it. I'll name it Gary. <laughs> I can see the red glowing. It looks like an evil face frowning at me. Wow, look at that. It's like stringy glass and metal. So while this melted glass and aluminum gave me an idea and it's time for round two against the cube. This glass is looking pretty melted to me. What do you think we should pour it on the cube now? I think it's ready. I think it's definitely ready. Now we're pouring a mixture of molten glass and aluminum on the cube. Look at that. That looks like a cheese pizza from heck. Gotta stay monetized, huh? Yeah. Let's see if I can even pour this out. What do you think? Oh, is it going? It's going. Oh yeah, baby. Oh! Oh, oh is it going? It's going. Oh yeah, baby. Oh! oh. All right, now I'm gonna back up a little bit. That is so cool. Did you see how this came out and then all the molten stuff was just like Bleh! <laughs> Oh wow, that was so cool. Well, that is pretty cool, but all of this is pretty cool. I was really curious what would happen if you mixed glass and aluminum together and how they reacted with each other and what you could do with it. But we, get, we ended up getting some cool specimens. We got this cube, the Harry Potter sorting hat cube. Then we've got this thing that's a mixture of like pretty much half and half glass and aluminum. It just looks super cool close up. Looks like a super villain's a layer out of magma. We also have the two cubes that only get cracked where we poured molten aluminum over it, which looks pretty cool. And of course we have the broken crucible. Rest in pieces, my little buddy. But what I want to see is what the inside of this glass sphere looks like. So let's open this up and see. The glass sphere was probably one of my favorites and it was super satisfying to peel it open. It was like opening a metallic and glass orange and it all came off at once, so it was double satisfying. Anyway, I think it looks really cool with all the circular patterns in there. Well guys, there you go. I think we got some pretty cool stuff in this video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.